here's what you want to do, Jesus. Okay? When you're in here like this, some of you guys, you're in here, and I and it looks to me like you want to come like this, see how my head is, and then go. And and it's too teeter top. Okay? If you're trying to hit your whip over here and you're not able to get it, watch what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna bring it back to this spot. Then go. Okay? So you, you, you don't want to have your head, you don't want to have your head up here. And if you're like this, you don't want to just go right from this position to right into it, okay? Pull them down in here, okay? Now you're set, now you're set, okay? Because if you're up in here, it takes a second, okay? It takes a second to get into this scenario, then another second to get into this scenario, and then you're popping on top, okay? You just want to make sure that you're in the right spot, okay? Get your get your head in there. Boom. Now pull tight. Then okay. just kind of avoid the teeter totter scenario. Okay, it's not. It seems like it would work, but it's actually got a lot of slippage in it. Okay, same sense. Now let's go on. Let's go on top. Okay, this this twister motion is real similar to our cross wrist roll. Okay, so I'm here. I hit my cross wrist roll here, and then I roll. It's the same thing as like the twister type, but more now I have his whole body, so it's like a body twister. See that? Now, I come through, I go ball and chain here, arm across the back, pull him into this scenario, okay? Now, when I go to pin him too, I can come right on top right there, okay? Let's stick it with the twister thing, okay? One more in the front head, now, you get the body twister, okay? Or as we know, it's the cross twist roll. So I chop and catch his wrist, I pull it across, elbows in, capture his hip, then hit my roll, tight, transition to your ball and chain, short hook, elbow on the back, coming in here, climbing up, okay? Let's see if we can do that one. Ready, go.